beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for August 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. If anyone claiming to be me asks you for anything at all, money, e-gifts, or donations, it is not me, it is a scam, so please keep your wonderful selves safe. I do not have Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon, so if anyone contacting you on those platforms uh, claiming to be me, it is uh, fake. Please report them. Let's get straight to your monthly reading. Now, first of all, Aquarius, I do apologize for the late... Um, reading. I have not been feeling uh, very well recently, uh, so I took a little bit of time out to uh, recover. So I do apologize. Um, occasionally, <laughs> excuse me, occasionally I'm going to have a little cough as well, so please uh, bear with me. Um, but this is your monthly reading. Uh, so just under the wire, it is the 1st of August that I'm doing this on. Um, so, wow, we have the devil card energy to start. Uh, but that is in your protagonist energy. So that means you're trying to disconnect from something that is unhealthy. But also you may be obsessing over something. So we will have a look at that one uh, that may be before we proceed. Um, now, oh, wow. So in August, what's very interesting, they want me to go one more, so I will. Um, in August, what's very interesting is that we already have five planets in retrograde. And... Um, the sixth planet to go into a retrograde will be on the 19th of August, which means, um, you know, there, uh, there's an end. It's in Uranus. Uranus goes uh, in retrograde. And uh, it's an end to unpredictable sort of energy uh, for a small period of time. We get a respite from that negative, um, unpredictable energy. But the beginning of August, um, there is a massive sort of transition happening. And, you know, Saturn's in retrograde, which is, again, a little bit more peaceful, uh, gives you time to think things through. Neptune is in retrograde. And when Neptune's in re retrograde, what it does mean is that we cannot escape into a fantasy world. We see things with cold, hard realism. So you may be ripping the Band-Aid off something or seeing things in super sharp focus. And you may not like what you see in some areas, but that's where you make the change, okay? Uh, Pluto is also um, in retrograde, so that means you'll be encouraged to look deeper and transform yourself from within and shed anything that no longer serves you, any dead wood in your life or anything that's hindering you, you're getting rid of it. This is a major uh, sort of gateway to self month uh, for you. Now, this is the devil card, so, and it is your protagonist energy. Aquarius. So as you enter August, there may be something that you are uh, feeling was holding you back, something that you are either addicted to or obsessed with or felt uh, that it was controlling you in some way. You're trying to detach yourself up from that and trying to create uh, more freedom for yourself. Um, now, I will pull a card on this. I feel like you're becoming very aware of whatever it is that has been holding you back. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologize um, because they're really highlighting that the mask is off. OK, as I said, Neptune is in retrograde, so it's about ripping that mask off and seeing where you may be getting in your own way. Sometimes we do Aquarius, we get in our own way and we sabotage ourselves. Uh, so if there is a big project, for example, that you've been trying to um, sort of finish or there is a, you know, an email you've been meaning to sort of um, finish and, and send off, you know, you may be procrastinating and going, oh, gosh, I really don't have the energy or I don't have the mojo, the drive, the motivation to just finish it off right now. So you could there could be some procrastination going on there. Um, so um, August is a very important month as well about completion. So um, I feel definitely this energy, you're trying to look at it in a very cold, hard, sharp way and be honest with yourself and disconnect from any energy that is uh, sort of making you feel um, uh, stuck. And now this could be a person as well. If you feel like anyone is trying to control you in a situation or trying to influence you in any sort of shape or form where they're manipulating you or, uh, you know, whether it's emotional blackmail or anything like that, I feel like you're seeing beyond uh, the mask or whatever it is they're presenting to you. And I feel like you're uh, detaching yourself from this energy. But let's go and find out here for you. Also, just to let you know, I will be running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to um, enter into. Um, and I'll uh, let you know how to win it right at the end. Uh, some people are here for the messages only and some people are here for both. Um, I will announce the winner on the 27th of uh, August there. Okay, so we have um, 
the uh, seven of wands there now the seven of wands is a self-protective mode okay so I feel like you're battling something but also you're persevering on something so you may have felt like there was uh, you, you felt a little bit obsessed in an area um, where you have been battling away at something whether it's a career move whether it is a friendship whether it is a love situation or uh, it is something personal to you uh, you may feel like uh, there's moments where you uh, uh, want to chuck it in and you you feel like it's not going to happen you've lost hope there um you may feel like um how can i put that you may feel like there's um once you may have felt uh, that anything was possible, but now you're like, maybe this is not possible. Uh, they're indicating here that you're actually at your personal best and perseverance is uh, the order of the day. So whatever it is, they, they're basically highlighting that you can go the distance. You can um, sort of move through any obstacles or roadblocks there and you can become un you can be unstoppable basically um, with sustained effort. Now you may have been working on something for a long time Aquarius and you're like you know what no matter what I do it's just not working out in my favor. They are indicating here that um, you'll be unprepared for the sort of when it just kicks off but there's an obsessive energy here. Um, <coughs> Now, there may also be a person or a situation, maybe it's a toxic job situation that you're in or um, something uh, that is uh, keeping you uh, stuck, whether it's the outcome, you're attached to an outcome. Like, I mean, we all got to pay bills, okay? So you may be in a job that you don't particularly enjoy. Right now, you're feeling a little bit stuck in a rut, but it pays the bills or it pays handsomely. So you feel like you're in a catch-22, okay? They're indicating here that there will be a breakthrough um, and you may be learning something um, in order to transform your world. So for example, you may be uh, doing online courses or uh, learning something on the side so that you can actually leave a toxic job situation and get something better. Um, and I feel like that will be very uh, exciting energy for you. Um, but they're indicating um, persevere, okay? Uh, don't give up on uh, something because I feel like you're just, there's a breakthrough happening here. Also, I feel like there's some sort of knowledge. They want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Um, magician, yeah, your breakthrough. So what do you think about, you bring about? So if you're obsessing over something and feeling like it's not going to happen or you can't do this, Aquarius, then you're right because uh, you have the power of your own destiny in your mind. Thoughts become things. So if you feel like you can't do something, you actually lose the motivation, the drive, or the willpower to want to even try. So there's that procrastination, you know, getting in our own way, self-sabotaging. Um, but also if you feel like you can do something, you're absolutely right because you find that motivation that power that drive that perseverance to become unstoppable and get the job done you can you can do this okay so the magician card says thoughts become things so I do feel like um, try not to obsess about the outcome just uh, suggest to the universe what it is that you want and let the universe take care of the journey as long as you put the first step on the pathway to moving forward so whether this if this is a person okay who keeps manifesting you back into their world or keeps uh, re uh, sort of surfacing in your world or is someone here who is being negative towards you they're indicating you're very guarded against this person anyway to keep your your guard your your healthy boundaries up now in the reading yesterday i feel like it was for capricorn they gave me sorry they just give me and this they gave this to me the other day as well someone's got hiccups so if this is you, I don't have hiccups, but as I have to, as soon as I address it, it goes away, the energy, but they're indicating someone's got hiccups. So if you are listening to this reading and you've got hiccups, um, then there's something in this message for you, or you just had hiccups just before you started this reading, there's something in this message for you. I mean, it could be that you felt like you've been going through a bit of a hiccup, you know, uh, there was a little bit of a, a mistake on something or a little bit of um, a, a sidestep you've had to take on something. Uh, I feel like it's going to go away. It's temporary. Um, but <clears throat> if it's a person or a situation, I feel like um, you're very guarded. Now, as I said, they, they gave me something the other day. They've given it to me again. That's why I'm mentioning it. It is we can build a boundary. Boundaries are very important, but don't build a wall. OK, there's differences. The, the boundaries are so that you prove, well, you, you, you sort of prove to, um, basically, not prove, I guess you say to other people, this is what I'm willing to take from you and this is what I'm not willing to accept, this bad behavior. I've got healthy boundaries now. You can't get through that without good behavior. 
or uh, you know approaching me with good energy or meeting me on the same frequency a wall is it, it's preventative it actually stops everything from getting in there good and bad a boundary actually lets the good stuff through and the bad stuff stays out okay so just be mindful about building boundaries building walls okay so they're indicating however you want this to go down though whatever you feel like you're attached to you have the power you have everything you need to detach yourself from that energy whether it is obsessing whether it is a negative person or situation um, knowledge is the key now the challenge in uh, August for you is knowledge uh, the Hierophant card is uh, about rules it's about regulations you may have felt like you were micromanaged in a situation or someone was trying to control you because the Hierophant is often about a rigid rule system or some sort of institution um, now it can also be about secret knowledge so I feel like there's a piece of information that actually comes your way in August that helps you see things clearly and make some radical changes in your world uh, the Hierophant is also about your commitments now that can be commitments in friendship it can be commitments in love relationships or businesses it is about looking at where you spend your energy and um, whether it is deserving of your care your attention or the energy that you're putting into it what is the reward that you get out of it Aquarius now you don't put in to get out of course that's not what we're here for but it's almost like uh, you're learning about your boundaries, your, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you're looking at um, the way things are done traditionally as well. Um, and I feel like you're bucking some rules, bucking some trends. There's a little bit of a kickback here, like a rebellion. Um, and uh, whoever is trying to control you I've, or if a situation has become very restrictive, I feel like you're kicking back against that energy. I'm going to quickly pull a quick card on that. Now, they just give me a name, which is Walsh. Walsh. So if your name is Walsh, uh, there's something in this message for you. Ooh, okay, so we got the lover's card. So the separation here, as I said, there's some sort of um, angst or some sort of, um, you know, uh, discord going on here, some sort of kickback, rebellion happening here. Um, yeah, so if your name is Walsh, there's something in this message for you. If it's not Walsh, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. I can't think of any other... Uh, thing that would be called Walsh other than a person. I feel like it's a name or the name of a place. So it could be the name of a company. So please take it as it resonates. Um, now the Hierophant is also a marriage card or uh, you know a high level of commitment card. So high level of commitment can be given to anything. You could be feel like you're married to your work or your career. Um, there's some sort of discord, disharmony here. Perhaps you're separating from it. Perhaps you're leaving a toxic situation behind or a toxic friendship, something you really invested in. Um, I feel like um, th there is basically, um, you know, this is the resistance position. So perhaps there's something, if someone keeps coming back into your world, Aquarius, who comes at low vibe with the same old spiel, you know, the woulda, coulda, shoulda conversations, but they're not showing you any action. Or if you, you know, if you've got a boss who's really sort of, um, you know, uh, not a very nice person and says, oh yeah, sure, I put you up for that promotion and it never comes. Or yeah, I put you up for that uh, raise and it never comes. Uh, you know, I feel like you're being taught uh, a lesson here on healthy boundaries and what it is that you deserve and what it is that you really should walk away from when it's, you know, when it's taken the pee as, as, as they like to say. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like you're separating from that energy. You're recognizing your worth. So if you see situations coming up in your world, whether they're friendships that, you know, just take, 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 or family members who, you know, expect and never really are there for you when uh, the you need them. Um, I feel like you're really looking at um, the energy that you give to these situations and your commitment <coughs> to this. I really feel like you are making a breakthrough though because we've got the skull right in the center which indicates um, you know the death card energy which is anything that is stagnant, any conversations that are necessary that have not been said, um, whether it is with a friend, uh, a lover, ex-lover, or, uh, you know, work. I feel like there's a breakthrough here, especially on the throat chakra. And I feel like a conversation is going to blow the thing wide open. Now, you could be also, if you're in a, um, an energy of um, feeling at work that it's not fulfilling, that it's actually bringing you down, you don't like where you're at. I feel like you may be, uh, t as I said, taking online courses or investigating something... Um, uh, that uh, you're really interested in and learning about it in order to uh, break away from where you're at and earn money elsewhere, okay? Or follow a different career path or something that you've always wanted to do, okay? Now, the unified energy is very beautiful. The moon card, um, they've been giving me this um, recently, especially uh, for August, for a lot of people, Aquarius, 
they've been giving me the moon card is where hid hidden opportunities are lying in wait for you uh, throughout August. So I feel like um, a great opportunity lies in the shadows for you and it's just waiting for the right moment to sort of strike and come towards you. The moon card often is about illusion, something presenting as um, one thing when really it could be something else. So you may not even be aware of the opportunities that are about to come towards you and you may feel like there's change of foot intuitively you know that there's a major change here and it's a very positive one because we've got the magician card and the sun following it so it's really exciting energy as an outcome but i feel like you're guarded you're ready for it's almost like expect the unexpected so you may be obsessing over something that you feel could go either way you know there could be a good outcome there could be a bad outcome and you're wondering which one it could be for you um, i really feel like you're going to hear some knowledge that comes towards you in august and news or something and it may be news that is not really privy to other people's so maybe it's something that just comes specifically to you um, and i feel like this allows you to sidestep something and walk into something more exciting more important for you um and i need i i feel like you need to trust your intuition on it but they're indicating keep your eyes peeled because um there is an opportunity uh, whether that's career uh it could be friendship or love if you're looking for love I feel like um, you're detaching yourself from anything negative and you're walking straight into really exciting, positive things. The magician, as I said, uh, that's the second time that you got it, thoughts become things. So the magician says wherever you're focusing your attention to, Aquarius, that is what you are bringing about. So if with the devil card you're catastrophizing about things that, my gosh, it's probably going to go all wrong. Um, I'm probably going to get this and it's going to be awful. I'm probably never going to get that. Um, maybe it's not going to happen for me because it's not showed up just yet. Then that's exactly what you're going to get because like attracts like. Frequencies match. So if you feel like you are not going to get what you want, if you feel like you cannot do something that you want, if you feel like someone is being horrific to you, they're going to prove you right. All of those things are going to prove you right. Now, of course, if there is someone being negative towards you or underhanded in any shape or form, please use your intuition because intuition tells you that you are right, okay? But if you are being negative about yourself or your attributes or whatever it is that you can do, your skills, then you're actually going to lower your frequency. So they really want you to thrive actually Aquarius and this is Aries energy here so that is a an energy it's a fire energy of um sort of inspiration doing strong emotion passion getting the job done this is a sign of action and I feel like you're going to be doing that okay we've also got Capricorn energy Taurus energy Cancerian energy and Leo so it's interesting that the magician card the magician card tells you anything is possible take the first step just make it happen. I feel like you're going to be taking some action on something, but only after some sort of piece of news comes your way and you're like, yes, I got it. I feel like it's really awesome. And the sun card indicates there's a lot of uh, exciting, positive energy coming towards you. This is abundance. The sun card is the most abundant card in the deck. So whatever abundance or success looks like for you or whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve, then it's coming towards you in August, especially towards the end of August. I would even say after the 19th of August, okay? Uh, because I feel like it's, you know, you have a bumpy transition into August. You're probably already feeling it, Aquarius, because we're on the 1st of August already. Uh, but the Sun card indicates that there is a positive outcome here. Relationships are blossoming. Friendships are uh, flourishing. Um, job situations are going the way that you hoped. And I feel like all feels uh, well in your world, um, especially towards the end of August there. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go straight into um, the uh, details. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Can you please? Uh, we got the Queen of Air. Okay, so what did I say about that, that cold, hard look at things, ripping the mask off something? Queen of Air, she is sharp as a tack, okay? And she sees things super clear. She's got strong, healthy boundaries, strong self-esteem, and she has clarity of purpose. Okay, you can finally see where you want to go and you're aligning yourself with your, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Okay, wow. Now, this is quite something. So we will be delving a little bit deeper. They want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? Three of air. Okay, so... 
as I said, sharp as attack, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. Now, this is in your protagonist energy. So if there's something you're obsessing about, whether it's a career, whether it's love or a friendship, I feel like you're digging a little bit deeper and I feel like you're seeing things really clearly. As I said, you're ripping that uh, Band-Aid off or that blindfold off. Uh, even if you've been you know, procrastinating on something, I feel like you're being a little bit harder on yourself or something and saying, you know what, I gotta get this done. I'm taking action. The Queen of Air, she strategizes, she's very shrewd. Now, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, but this is being well organized. What do I need to do? How do I need to formulate a plan? What is it that I need to take action on? Clear communication, a very good wordsmith, very well organized as well so I feel like you're letting go of any false truths you're being rigorous in the action that you take and you're also being very honest with yourself and others here so you know if anyone is on the end of your sharp tongue uh, in August you know I wouldn't want to be on the end of that Aquarius I really respect um, you guys and girls uh, but I, I feel like it doesn't often come out Aquarius for you to be very sharp with someone um, but I feel like sometimes uh, if they push you especially if they're as I said micromanaging you or you find that someone has not got your back is betraying you in any way well you know hell or high water I'd run as fast as I could out of your vicinity I wouldn't want to catch your temper okay so uh, you know same with Scorpio I'm a Scorpio you know what I'm slow to anger but you know, when things hit the fan and I've given you or a person plenty of warning that, you know, look, you're, you're going too far. You're pushing me now. All of a sudden, nuclear button, boom, you know, and it's not pretty. I don't like it. I don't want to go there. But sometimes people press you, those buttons. We're all human. OK, I feel like diplomacy is important. Uh, so whatever this is, um, you know, um, we all say things that we do mean and that we don't mean in anger. But I feel like there's something different about the Queen of Air. Queen of Air is a Libra energy, someone who's self-sufficient. When it's often very scary to people, Aquarius, when they feel like you're willing to walk away from something because you've got nothing to lose. You're just willing to just go. That is a very powerful energy to be in because it says, I don't need no body. I don't need no situation. I wanted to be with somebody. I wanted that situation. I wanted that job, but I don't need it. I can go elsewhere. So I feel like you're really, your boundaries are super healthy and strong and you know your self-worth, your self-esteem. So whatever this is, I feel like you're, you're almost signaling, ooh, my gosh, sorry, those, uh, you, you can't see what I see, I'm scrying, okay, I just went like that across, uh, I'm not looking at the card when I put it down, I'm actually looking in the water. And I just went like that. And all of a sudden, I saw two huge owl eyes, okay? And then when I looked down at the card to see what I'm feeling, um, it, they, they, they are, of course. But in my vision, they were bigger. They're huge. So, I mean, either you're looking at huge owl eyes right now. They're quite intimidating, actually. They see through to your soul. Uh, so maybe that's the energy that you're embodying in August. Um, or, you know, you're investigating something uh, very clearly. Um, or maybe this is you saw an owl recently that you caught them looking in through the window at you or something like that so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone but whenever I get an owl spirit coming through the wise old owl sees everything says nothing normally to the right moment okay where, where it's like boom here's all the information that I got and I feel like you, there's some sort of homework or something investigation going on here for you you're seeing things a little bit deeper the page of air <coughs> excuse me is um, invest investigative energy, especially since it's crossing the Hierophant. You may be um, curious about a new pathway, a new focus, perhaps, uh, whether it's uh, you want to go into a new area of business or whether you want to uh, learn something new um, that, uh, you know, sort of gives you an extra string to your bow or whether you're investigating someone or something. I feel like you are digging deep and you're seeing below the surface here. You're very curious. Um, about something. It may not have been proven yet, whatever it is, but intuitively you feel something that uh, calls for a little bit more attention. So I feel like you are digging deep in August on something. Now the page of air is an Aquarius energy. So this is your energy. So I feel like, um, you know, uh, either you've heard, uh, you know, a piece of gossip about something or this news, as I said, that comes your way and you want to dig deeper on it. So, you know, someone may come towards you and say, hey, Aquarius, I got an awesome opportunity for you. And you're like, oh, that is quite interesting. Let me have a look deeper into it on my own terms because I want to make sure that everybody's, um, it's all above board. So I feel like you are looking at something a little bit deeper. 
But I also feel like, Aquarius, and I'm going to pull a card on it, that someone is curious about you, okay? So whether this is um, you being headhunted uh, by a company and they're uh, finding out a little bit more knowledge about you and about your skills, uh, what it is that you uh, do or that you are, because uh, I feel like there's a very original energy about you. You're very creative, you're very uh, powerful in your ideas, uh, you're actually very fun to be with, you're adventurous, you think outside the box, you know, you're all, I always uh, go to my Aquarian friends when I really want like, um, you know, a completely left field piece of advice on something because you guys and girls tend to see things from a really different viewpoint and I really appreciate it, you know. And so I, I've, I feel like people are gravitating towards you in August for that reason, whether that's uh, friendships, whether that is career, whether that is love, I feel like you're very unique and I feel like you're glowing, that energy is glowing from you, your uniqueness. Um, okay, so, um, what they're indicating here is the Nine of uh, Swords, it's in the reverse there, um, and the Nine of Swords is uh, something that may have made you feel very worried about, um, and you, you could have had a lot of anxiety about it, uh, but it normally means the Nine of Swords is often, um, especially in the reverse, it's like unwarranted fear. Uh, there was nothing really to be scared about or worried about, uh, but you needed to find out. You needed to find out the information. So whether it's on a toxic uh, job situation or a friend stabbing you in the back or something, or whether it's a, a marriage or a high level of commitment, uh, you may have felt like there was, well, we've got two queens here, so I need to have a look at that, of course. So you may have th uh, found out there was a third party situation or you may suspect it, but you're looking a little bit deeper. Um, they are indicating that this fear is unwarranted, okay? Um, but what they're indicating with that Nine of Swords, it allows you to take action on something and find out the truth. The the the, the Nine of Swords, it, I mean, you've got a lot of swords for August. Uh, I mean, it is, I know you're an air sign, uh, but this is a lot of swords. So I feel like you're in your head a lot. You're really investigating something uh, and trying to find the truth. Truth is everything for you in August. You're digging deep, whatever this is, okay? So, um, and the only... The only other card you've got here is a wand, the Queen of Wands. So I will find out if it's two different people. I mean, this could be, you know, there could be like three parties uh, involved in this, you and two others. So if it's a situation at work, perhaps there's a, a triangle going on there of bullying or some sort of toxic energy, or perhaps, you know, you may have struck up a friendship or a relationship at work. I mean, I'm not here to judge. Um, horses for courses, everybody does whatever they want as long as they're not hurting other people. Um, and Or it could be uh, in love relationships, you know. Um, there may be uh, something going on there that you investigate something a little bit deeper, okay? So um, the, I have to give you what I'm getting, Aquarius. I'm not going to blow smoke up your you-know-what and say, you know, um, oh, everything's fine and dandy. I feel like there's really wonderful opportunities coming towards you, but I feel like there's some sort of um, drama going on here um, where you have to let go of something in order to replace it with something greater. Uh, we have the Queen of Fire there, okay? Now, the Queen of Fire is a Leo energy and very passionate, very feisty kind of uh, energy, confident, self-assured. So I'm going to have to pull a card on this to see if it is your energy, Aquarius, as in, you know, you're embodying both that shrewd energy to see something clearer and get a little bit more knowledge on it. And then you're taking action and having a lot of passion and moving towards it and sort of um, collaborating with other people uh, in order to do something else. So, for example, if you're leasing, leaving a job that was toxic, uh, you may be finding a more inspiring um, collaborative force, one that really sets your soul on fire, that you're enthusiastic about, because maybe you've just lost a bit of interest where you are at the moment. Uh, so it could be that energy, or it could be, you know, um, that you are collaborating with someone who is a Leo, um, and uh, perhaps with the King of Air, but the Three of Air is there, so that does indicate silver linings in natural departures. You're leaving something behind. Behind. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a quick card on that. Oh, they want this deck. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you? Okay, thank you so much. We've got the Three of Cups in the reverse and we've got the World in the reverse. Okay, so the World in reverse indicates that lesson that I was talking about that is unlearnt, that hasn't been learnt yet, or unfinished business or a delay on something. And we got the Three of Cups in the reverse. Now, the Three of Cups in the reverse often means, you know, no support in a situation or be a little bit more discerning about your friends or who you trust. 
okay um, so because we're getting this energy and we're starting off with the devil energy and you're investigating something a little bit more clearly uh, it looks like you know be careful with who you lay your trust with um, or be careful what uh, if there's anything like the world card is like something is incomplete in this position in the re reverse and it, it can also um, be a regret Someone regrets being a bad friend, for example, um, <coughs> and they may return to you and try and offer you some sort of um, peace offering. I, I say that because you're just giving me an image right now of a uh, an olive branch. Okay, so um, I just want to uh, pop that out there for you. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify the Queen of Fire as well again one more time with the Three of Cups? Thank you so much. Okay, again, they're giving me that there is some sort of secret knowledge that comes away, uh, comes towards you. Uh, the high priestess is in the reverse. Now, this could be a th this could be someone who is uh, who's got a piece of information to give you that actually maybe uh, investment information that uh, would be a good investment or is really good knowledge, a really good um, piece of information um, that helps rise you up in some way or helps you be um you know a wise investor financially or helps you step into a leadership role um could also be that uh you know if you're wanting to be an entrepreneur that uh, you know there's some good business advice that this person has to offer now the high priestess in the reverse indicates um that there you may mistrust this okay uh, because it is secretive uh but I, there's something here about mistrusting the uh, solidity or the um, the loyalty of a situation that, that's what I'm getting I feel like you don't trust this situation whatever this is so you're investigating it further so um, okay I just want to pull another card can you tell me a little bit closer if this is in business is this friendship is it in Queen of Swords in the reverse. Uh, so it's wherever anyone is unkind or dishonest to you, okay? Uh, wherever there is rigid logic, where you feel like there's rules and regulations and uh, they're trying to um, control you in some sort of way, uh, some sort of dishonesty. So it can be in love relationships, it can be in career, it can be in anything. I mean, we're starting with the Queen of Air and basically the Queen of Air in the reverse is just indicating you anyone who is not telling the truth or anything that you found is doesn't add up okay that's what I'm they're just giving me it doesn't add up something doesn't add up okay now we got the king of air uh, king of air is someone who leads with truth someone who is all about the rules and regulations as well someone who is thinking before they act on something but the king of air often um, you know um, strategically thinks about something um, and then speaks their truth and it is the truth you know uh, I know this is the uh, Good to Row by Colette Baron Reed. So I'm going to clarify this card as well uh, to see if it is the truth and nothing but the truth. Because we do have a match there. We got a Queen of Air if it's in terms of love. Mm. Okay. So if this is, for example, <clears throat> someone that you felt was your soulmate or someone that you uh, felt that you really had a lot of time or care for and there was a bit of a standoff between you and this person and you felt like there was a third party situation going on there, this person. Now, this is Gemini energy here, um, Aquarius. This person has a lot of love for you, okay? And I say that because this person's coming in with a Knight of Cups here. They're offering you some, they're offering you something, okay? Um, and we got the Four of Swords in the reverse, which means uh, be ready. You know, uh, you know, there may have been no action for a while. Uh, you may have felt completely restless, anxious, and burnt out with the situation, but they're indicating be ready to act, okay? Um, because if it was in this position, it'd be like, you know, you're feeling like you want to be on your own and you're just taking some time out. But in this position, it says, you know, you're willing to uh, sort of investigate what this person has to offer uh, because they're coming towards you. Uh, now, this could be a new boss, for example, with a new job. And they may be quite cold on the appearance, but I feel like they're going to offer you something um, that is actually um, something that you would love to do. Um and it may be between you and another person, for example. So you may have competition because it seems like there's two queens here and a king. So uh, it looks like there is like a third party situation going on here, whether it's in love or business or, you know, friendship. Um, it feels like 
there, there's going to be a lot of truth. I mean, truth blows things wide open. And the three of air, especially in this deck, this is about silver linings and natural departures. So if you've been in a toxic job situation, for example, and, uh, you know, someone is causing a lot of drama and uh, or there's a competition for a position that you're both going for and you get chosen over the other person or vice versa, they get chosen over you. I feel like the natural um, the natural order of things is whatever you get rejected from, it's God's protection and redirection. OK, so um, it's almost like. This is kind of a good thing if um, if it's a toxic, if it's a bad situation for you, Aquarius, it's a really good thing to walk away. Whoa, whoa. I mean, they're giving me the same thing. Look at that. The devil card again and the four of wands, which means get the hell out of there. Separate from that situation if you can, because I mean, I'm clarifying the three of air. Please look up the meanings of the cards and you'll see that, I mean, the devil card is anything that you feel is a negative situation that you feel trapped in or you feel like is um, not good for your health or is making you feel obsessed about in a really negative way and you're losing yourself in there. The Four of Wands says separate from that. If there's arguments and you feel like um, this person or situation is trying to control you or there's, uh, it, it, you're out. OK, and it's it's a good thing that you're out there basically saying you're going to be separating from anything that is negative. So um, we're going to go a little bit deeper. Um, we're just going to use the mystical moments to row. Um, so definitely um, no, not the right one. <coughs> wow, because look, if you just look like th this is a love relationship, this is a general uh, for the month. But we do obviously have those two cards, um, which indicates something um, is better for you. Something is more in line with your frequency. And, you know, so for example, if you and uh, another person were partnering up in business, for example, please do some digging and look up, you know, contracts, uh, pay close attention to anything before you sign on the dotted line. You don't want any um, sort of nasty surprises in the future. Um, page of air, be very curious. Look below the surface. You haven't, you've only just scratched the surface is what they're saying. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Anything else for my beautiful Aquarians? King of Cups. We got the eight of, uh, okay. Sorry, they just want me to take it up like that. Uh, just to let you know, I'm only reading the uprights in the deck, um, just so you're aware um, of this one as well. How would you like to proceed? Thank you so much, spirit guides. Nope. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Um, okay, so they just said Bramwell to me. Bramwell. Bramwell. So that is um, not a typical name. One more. Okay, I'll just go get that card. Bramwell. So if your name is Bramwell or there is... Um, a place called Bramwell that resonates with you, please take it as it resonates because it's not going to resonate for everyone. If it does not resonate for you, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. So they just want me to go uh, again as well. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Thank you. Three, two threes. Wow. It's interesting, isn't it? That's three threes, synchronicity. That means there's a lot of uh, change happening. Uh, look up uh, triple three and uh, your angel number, and uh, it will give you a very important message. They're just saying, uh, well, I just said, you know, three threes, uh, a lot of synchronicity. It means change. And they said, look it up. When they say to me, look it up, they mean your angel number, look up three, 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 okay? Uh, and it will tell you what's going on there. Now, the, the King of Cups. As you can see, the King of Cups is someone who really is invested in what they do, someone who loves what they do, someone who is very emphatic. They understand the undercurrent, okay? And as you can see in this particular King of Cups, <coughs> excuse me, although you're being shrewd in a situation and if anything is toxic or feels like it, something's off, something doesn't add up there, um, the Queen of Air actually makes you investigate it further, but the King of Cups um, is an energy of being diplomatic. As I said, uh, you know, there's diplomacy that's important. You may be fair and gentle in the situation and be, it's not that you're not being judgmental, but I feel like you're reserving your judgment until you investigate something a little bit more. Okay. Uh, as you can see, um, this figure here has got a little small ship and a big one right there. So, um, I feel like you're protecting something, um, and you're seeing how something else goes first before you release the other 
um, ship, for example. Um, also, I feel like there is a window of opportunity here for you in August that allows a big, um, yeah, it's either a big opportunity or, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, something is going to get passed for you. Um, whether you're doing an exam or whether you're doing, uh, you know, you uh, are um, competing against something, I feel like you're going to pass it. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, there's a pass. It allows you to move forward. And it's a big deal, is what they're giving me. Now, the king of water is someone who leads with their heart, takes action on a decision, um, but formulates a plan or formulates uh, an opinion um, using their wisdom and also their intuition. So that will really uh, sort of guide you, okay? Um, and we've got the Nine of Swords. There's definitely anxiety here. You feel like you have to watch your back in a situation, Aquarius. So whatever that is for you, I'm sending you out a huge hug because nobody likes to live in fear. Nobody likes to live in anxiety. So normally when you get the Nine of Swords, it is, uh, as I said, it's an unwarranted fear, okay? But uh, you, they basically are, especially since we got the, the owl there as well, the owl spirit that came through, they are saying keep your eyes peeled in August. And I'm not... Tarot is not meant to make you feel fear or anything like that. I mean, you've got the sun as an outcome, okay? You've got the chariot card, victory. You've got eight of wands saying good news is coming. So whatever it is that you've been nervous about the outcome of, it's going to go in your favor. So, um, you know, breathe. They just gave me the big word, breathe. So breathe, okay? Um, but whatever it is, I mean, you're, you're keeping your eyes peeled. You're investigating something deeper and you're keeping your eyes peeled. Um, and now the outcome, we've got the Eight of Wands, which indicates elevation. You are going to thrive because of this information that you either find out, the secret information, or you um, are given it to, given it by a third party. Because I feel like your passion, your desire, your willpower is going to carry you through towards success and you are elevating. Okay, so there's really good news coming in in August for you um, and you're protected. They just said you're protected. Okay, Aquarius, that's what they're giving me. You're protected and they're symbolizing it by the umbrellas. So, there, you know, if you think about bad weather, storms, the umbrella protects you from the majority of the storm. So they're indicating that you are protected. And uh, you're safeguarding yourself by investigating something a little bit deeper. Um, now, the chariot card indicates success, victory, motivation, drive, moving uh, over the obstacles, through the obstacles, any challenges that you meet, you're moving through them and you're self-assured that you're going to uh, sort of be successful. This is determination, willpower. And I feel like whatever it is, um, you may have a choice. It could be, should I stay, should I go? It could be, um, should I take that opportunity or should I take that one? I feel like there's a fork in the road here because the chariot often has two horses or two sphinxes and there's a decision point to make. Um, so I do feel like you will um, have to uh, decide which way uh, to go, but you will choose uh, what is best for you according to your essential growth and according to your heart. But this is about living um, skillfully, fearlessly, and truthfully. So I feel like you are going to be living freely as well. If anything's trying to control you, you're, you're getting out of that, okay? I feel like uh, it's a really wonderful energy where you're taking charge, you're master or mistress of your own destiny, and you are moving straight forward. Ooh, okay, so they're just showing me someone having some, uh, looks like cheese on toast. <laughs> Cheese on toast, and it's making me quite hungry, actually. Uh, it looks it looks pretty good. Uh, so if that is you having some cheese on toast, I feel like there's something underneath that cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. So either you put something on there, like, I don't know, onion, tomato, or something like that. I can't really see that part, so I'm going to have to just slide past that. But there's cheese on top, whatever that is, and it looks like uh, you're having a snack. So if that's you, as you're listening to this reading, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, so please take it as it resonates. But I mean... It, they're giving me that image and uh, you know if I'm again decoding uh spiritually what that image could mean you know I can only see that there's like a blanket of cheese on top of something on the toast so it may be that you know there there is something underneath there is something to investigate a little bit further that you cannot see right now and you're going to but you know that it's there I can't see it so maybe it's about something that you can't see that is below the surface that is going to come up in uh, August. It's actually very positive. It may not feel like that at first because you have to walk away from something, but it feels like a third party is going to tell you. Now, I just want to just want to indicate a third party does not mean someone is cheating on you or backstabbing you or any of those things. It can be that a third party, just meaning a third person, gives you a piece of information that really helps you fly. Okay, so I feel like there is... 
there's a really good outcome, okay? The Three of Wands says expansion. The Three of Wands says you're moving forward. You're waiting for the right moment. As you can see, this figure here, she's like, she has become the tower, basically. And when a person becomes a tower, it means they are going to surprise everybody by doing their own thing and causing upheaval. So I feel like you have the what it takes to expand your opportunities, um, to move forward. And the Three of Fire often means that there is an expansion of opportunities moving towards you and that the right path uh, you are on it towards your success, okay? I also feel like there is uh, opportunities coming towards you, but there, I feel like there's something you want to launch. Because as you can see with that, she's got a ship there. She's waiting to launch something, just like the, the, the King of Cups, waiting to launch something when the circumstances are right, when the water isn't so choppy, when you feel emotionally ready to do so, when you feel like you've really investigated something on a deeper level and shrewdly you make a bold move to uh, launch something, you're organized and you know when the right time is. So it's like calculated risk. You know, I, I was doing a Virgo reading and that came up in that their reading as well. So if you've got Virgo placements, uh, in your chart, then the Virgo reading, there could be something there for you because it was all about calculated risks and success because of that. Now, the Three of Pentacles indicates you're on the way to, to building something really exciting. As you can see, something that is, uh, you know, if you think about a flower, a flower is normally something that, uh, you know, sort of appears with the seasons and then dies with the seasons, okay? It comes and goes. But you, as you can see, this flower is made out of bricks. This Whatever is blossoming for you is here to stay. Whatever is working really well for you, whatever you're investing your time, your care on, it is here to stay. Now, if, if it is in terms of a relationship, if you're mending a relationship, because as you can see, these two little birds are mending um, things with this figure. I mean, there could be a third party situation. This third queen here could be, uh, sorry, the second queen here and the king. It could be a friend who is helping you mend a relationship that, uh, you know, you and that person may have separated. And there is a third person, a friend of yours or a friend of theirs, who's really encouraging you both to come together. Uh, so I feel like um, there seems to be unity at the end of it all. And, and uh, how can I put that? Uh, dependability, groundedness, resourcefulness. I feel like there is something coming together that is solid, okay? Uh, bizarrely, they want me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? Thank you so much. Another one, Three of Cups and Justice. I mean, that's a 4-3. You got, you got a full house. You got Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Three of Air. Three of Swords, basically. And you got Justice. So, as I said, you know, it could be friends who are coming together to help you because the Three of Cups is about friends working together as a team to, um, you know, not only just have fun and celebrate, but to, you know, be a circle of support. So um, I feel like the celebration, because Three of Cups basically means celebration. Um, and I feel like you're sharing resources or I feel like people are coming together to uh, work on something that's really quite exciting. And Justice card indicates there will be a solution, but you do have a decision to make and it could go either way, depending on whatever it is that you want. The Justice says you're weighing up a situation. You're seeking the truth. The Justice seeks the truth of a situation and you want to be fair in whatever situation this is. Um, and whatever decision you make in August, it will actually determine your future and your future self will thank you for it. The the Justice card is good karma, but it is found at finding a solution, okay? So I feel like what is right for you will never pass you by. So if you feel like you have to walk away from a job that you actually really loved, but there's a toxic vibe there and they're not very nice people, then of course it makes sense that unfortunately you do have to depart from that situation, but it is for your self-preservation and there is something better there for you elsewhere. Same with the friendship. If someone's not willing to invest what, what are you getting out of it, apart from a massive old headache and anxiety? Um, and the same with the relationship. You know, if someone, I, I saw this yesterday and it really kind of like sat really well with me. I've known it all my, uh, well, I've known it for a, a long time, let's put it that way. But if someone comes into your life, you know, what you have to do is you gotta leave the door open. Let that door open and let that person or situation come into your life. If that person or that situation wants to leave your life, Keep the door open. Let them go, okay? If that person wants to come back into your life, then you get to decide whether they come back on in. But still, keep that door open. What you're saying, as I said, right at the beginning, you're actually telling people you're in a very, very good position, Aquarius. 
it's it's a case of you know you know your healthy boundaries and you're not here to chase after anything that doesn't want to stay you've got self-respect and you know whatever is meant for you will never pass you by it will stay by your side because it wants to because it's necessary because it is meant for you so i feel like that there's a lot of that going on in your august reading um and uh yeah uh, it's a very interesting reading. It's not really kind of like focusing on anything in particular, but if it's to do with love and you felt like there was a third party situation going on there, I feel like you may, if you want to, because not everybody's going to want to, um, have, you, you may find a solution to that, but you may ha find out some truths, some cold, hard truths, but I feel, <coughs> excuse me, you've gone and done some digging first. Okay. Um, if it's career, I feel like the right there's going to be a solution, and I feel like it's going to be a really positive, um, abundant outcome for you. Um, there's nothing to worry about, is what they're indicating. Okay, so I'm just going to go and give you a wisdom of the oracle before we close the reading. Thank you so much, spirit guys, guardian angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much. We've got no place like home. Okay, no place like home, right there. So as you can see, the, this um. This home is elevated off the ground, so protected, right? Um, and it's shining a light, so there's an awakening there. Um, and, you know, home is feeling comfortable. Sometimes you can feel too comfortable, of course, and you don't get out there and do things. Um, but as you can see, uh, the moon there is in the background, and it's like a shell going round and round in circles. So if there's been an illusion that you felt like you're going round and round in circles, or fear that has kept you stuck going round and round in circles, um, I feel like you're um, having an awakening, an epiphany, Let's see, number 50, authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. Now the oracle message is home feels safe and secure. It is a comfortable place to rest and create, a place that is known and you can call your own. This card signals that you have the ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin. And is, it is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity, aspects of yourself that no one can ever take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high and yet neither with pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a very powerful position and strength. Authenticity is your home. You're safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. That totally clarifies this whole reading. Now, relationship message says, lovers, friends, and companion animals are all at home in your life right now. You're in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together, you add to the love of the world. Prosperity message is, when you act in an authentic way, you can command the world to reflect back to you exactly what it is in your highest good. Your business choices, the investments you make, and the creative projects you immerse yourself in are powerfully on point. Why? Because when you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey to date, both successes and failures, you will see the divinity in all things. Abundance is a natural progression when you experience this kind of authenticity. Okay, so um, I feel like there's a really positive outcome on the other side, but whatever it is, okay, they want that as well. Wow. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like you've been worrying about some things recently and they want to give you peace of mind. Everything's going to, there's a piece of information that makes the, the puzzle all come together. The final piece, the piece that was missing, you're digging it up and you're finding it out. Okay, now we got two keys here, very important. So... Uh, this key uh, is about a planetary alignment key. So there's going to be a major breakthrough here. You're unlocking a, a, a big door here for yourself, and it is the door, the gateway to the self. So I feel like um, you're actually um, unlocking some things. They want it on the higher front. So unlocking knowledge uh, to allow you to be free, to get rid of any hypocrisy or um, corruption that's going on in your world. Uh, and I feel like uh, you may even seek guidance for that. <coughs> Excuse me, but whatever it is, the knowledge is the key to your success. Um, also, we've got a secondary key here. Now, this key 
and it's got a big old circle on it. So things have come full circle. It often connects to the world key, the world card key. Um, so that is about completion of a cycle, satisfaction. Um, it could even be travel. Um, perhaps you're thinking about traveling somewhere, but it is about fulfillment. Things are going to come to a natural conclusion. And I feel like um, you've come as far as you can in this situation and you're making a breakthrough. So I feel like your efforts are coming full circle and you're meet meeting a final destination on something. Uh, they want it on the sun card. So they're indicating a very happy, auspicious conclusion. We've also got angels are watching over you. Okay, so you are protected in this and they've got your back. So just so you're aware there. Um, where would you like this? They want it on the justice card. Okay, the truth will out and you will find it. And also we've got the mermaid. So the mermaid is a water element um, and it uh, basically she has a shell on her heart. Listen to your heart, it will never ever lead you astray. Also what I love about this mermaid, you know, she has, you, you can turn the back, okay? So turning your back on anything that does not emotionally fulfill you. Um, so I feel like you'll be digging deep and listening to your emotions. Uh, you'll actually be, uh, Aquarius, very close to your emotions. I feel like I said this um, with the moon card. Um, a lot of people sort of suggest that you're detached from your emotions, uh, which is not true at all, okay? That's a very unfair thing for people to suggest about Aquarians. Um, they want it on the sun card as well, by the way. Um, I feel like you're gonna be closer to your emotions for the next six, six weeks, uh, closer than you've ever been before. So if you've been feeling a little bit like, whoa, uh, a little bit overwhelmed recently, uh, that's natural, okay? Uh, so I'll leave that there. I hope something resonated in your reading for you. I mean, it's very precise and it, it, it was all on one note. So it wasn't anything like about love or career, it was all about digging deeper. So I hope it resonates in some way. Um, if it does, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is complete something. August is the month of completion, so take that task that you've been meaning to finish, whether it's reaching out to a friend that you haven't spoken to in a long time, writing a letter to someone you care about, um, fixing that leaky tap that has been bugging you for like three months now. Whatever it is, uh, I want you to complete it at some point in August. It doesn't have to be right after this reading, but be inspired to just get it done. Because when you complete something, you actually make way for something greater in terms of frequency. So uh, you're signaling to the universe that you're tying up loose ends and you're ready for a new chapter, okay? Also, I'd love you to do something for you. The, th the two things could be the same, but I want you to do something for you, like really pamper yourself, whether that is, you know, cozy yourself up on the sofa with a, a good movie or a good book and your favorite wine or a cup of cocoa or whatever it is, and just take a couple of, you know, hours out for you. Silence, you know, be away from the phone, be away from disturbances and just enjoy your company. We forget as humans because we're always like searching on the internet or there's information coming our way. Sometimes we forget about enjoying our own company, enjoying our own imagination. It's really refreshing. I took some time out because I was unwell and actually I sat there and was like, whoa, I haven't done this in a long time and it feels good. So I feel, you know, if you could do that one thing, that'd be great. You don't have to tell me about it. All you have to do is put one word in the comments box below and that is completed. Write the word completed and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 27th of August and I'll announce the winner then. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and